Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this cool looking cardboard box just from using a UV printer and a laser cutter. Before I start designing anything with inside my template I need to make sure that I've got my registration marks in all four corners to make sure that I've got them there for when we need to laser cut out the outline of the box. And I've taken away my fold lines simply that I, so that I can see my outside box and then we bring them back in when we start to design. Simply so that we know that we're not going to put our artwork in the middle here and it's going to be folding around the box. Once we've got our registration marks there and we're happy with our outline, we can now bring in our layers. And right now I'm going to start with my side piece here. This I put here because the customer that is asking for this box needs to write what strain that they are going to be selling uh, over there. And from there, I moved over to the next side of the spine. They just wanted this quirky little saying. Um, and then we started adding in our logos and then we have our background. So this is my design here. It is quite busy, but when we're going to print, we are not going to be printing our outlines simply because we don't need them. Otherwise you're going to see them when you go to print. The registration marks are there for a reason. Those we will leave and we'll leave those to print. So let's get rid of our outlines and then we can save our artwork as it is here. Okay, from there, once we've saved our print design, now we need to set up our design for cutting for the laser. And the simplest way to do that is make sure that you remove all of your artwork. And now all we need is not our fold lines, but our outside cut line. So I'm gonna get rid of my background and I'm gonna save this as a JPEG so that we can go and then vectorize it so that it's ready for our laser cutting. So now we're going to vectorize our outline and make sure that our registration marks are still there. And then we're going to save this as a DXF ready for our cutting program. Now we are in our laser cutting program and now I'm going to import my DXF as we did before. And there it is there. So now what we want here is we want the outer line of our design, not the inside simply because we're only needing one layer cut and not two otherwise we're going to be making our box a little bit too small so in this case we do not want the inside line we're going to delete that simply because i only need one cut area for this entire box and our registration marks are still there which we need so that we can line up our box cut perfectly and in this case i'm going to be making these registration marks non and void so that when we go to cutting, it recognizes that they are there, but they do not cut. We're going to be changing this layer color to another layer so that I can make it output over here. We're gonna untick it. So once we've unticked it, that means it still recognizes the fact that they are here, but it will not do anything. Okay, now that we've set that up, we are ready to now cut. All right, it's time for the printing. And today I'm gonna to be using this uh, very thin cardstock. This is going to be the basis of our box. And you can decide whatever thickness you want. I'm choosing something like this, just as a test. And then from there, I'll decide whether or not I need to go thicker or thinner. I'm gonna be using the UV printer for this uh, printing job, simply because the UV ink um, and its curing process, it literally sticks to almost any surface. Now I've loaded in my design that I did earlier and now I'm going to change my speed as well as power to suit the material that we're cutting which is cardboard. So I'm going to go with the work speed of 150 and my power I'm going to put at 45%. Now that this is saved we're now going to set up our print so that it can get cut in our laser. And the first thing we're going to do is secure our board down to make sure that there isn't any places like for instance here in this corner 
it's got a flappy piece you want to make sure that you hold it down you can hold this down however you want i'm just going to be using these tiles in all four corners now i'm going to take my steel ruler and i'm going to put it underneath my magnet there and i'm going to get the machine to do an auto height registration now that should be the perfect height for us to start engraving now that I've selected my artwork on the console, I'm now going to align my laser. And the easiest way to do that is by using your laser and using the pulse, which shows you where it's lasering. So for instance, if you look here where our red dot is, we wanna make sure that it's in the same place as the red dot, and I'm gonna push pulse. And there we can see it's almost in the center, so we adjust our laser slightly so that we are in the center and we're happy and now we can move it to our first registration mark to make sure that it's in the right place and then we do a test and if it's in the middle I'm happy then we're ready to go we can start cutting Now that that's cut, we can now take our design out. Right, we've got our boxes from our laser and now we need to crease these boxes so that we can fold them and put them together. And all you're gonna need basically is a ruler. I'm using this tip of the blade here where there isn't the blade, it's just a piece of metal to crease it so we can fold. And then I don't have prints, so I'm gonna use two-way tape for putting the box together. First thing we need to do is make sure that we know where we have to fold and crease these boxes. So for first, we need to fold and crease here, all the way across there, all the way across there, and we need to do one here, here, and there. So let's get to it. The first one we're gonna do is our side here. And like I said, I'm gonna use this very tip here, making sure the blade is all the way inside. And I'm going to, just gonna push down a little bit to give ourselves a crease line as you can see there. Then we move on to the next one. Make sure that you give an even pressure going through all these lines when you're creasing, just so that you have a nice fold if you do not give it enough pressure it won't fold and then your print will crack now before we fold this together it's going to be easier for us to attach our two-way tape or print if you have so we're going to be putting it here and over there and over there simply just so that we can make sure that the box is nice and held together properly Now that we've done this side, we're gonna be attaching it to the other side of this one. And that we're gonna put over here. Okay, now that that's done, we can now fold our box into the place that we need it to be. Okay, we've now put this together and this is quite a nice solid box. I think it's gonna last quite a while. Um, and in this case, the customer, I think it's gonna be very happy. This, you can use in any format or matter that you want, whether it be a box for 
cigarettes or to hold money, it doesn't really matter. Um, it is just such a cool idea to have and being able to make one of these with the machines that you have is really, really futuristic. At am.co.za, we have always taken pride in our products and customer service. Our Google rating represents our commitment to providing our clients with the best support possible. We have officially achieved a rating of 4.9 stars and an astounding 699 reviews for our Jet Park branch in Johannesburg at the end of 2020. Flobosili Kumalo, a level 6 local guide who has 64 reviews all over the country says, the tech support team is on point. I had an issue with my machine. I called them and they said I must bring it in. The person who helped me checked everything and made sure everything was 100%. Kind staff members helped me load my machine in and out of my car. This was just one of the many appreciative reviews we have received. These tags mean a lot to us. Thank you so much for your support. Let's move our attention to our branch in Montague Gardens of Cape Town, where we have achieved a rating of 4.8 stars and an amazing 299 reviews. Level 7 reviewer Dash Somolu, who has 119 reviews on Google, says, Great company, great products and very well-priced items. The training we received from Messias Chunga was top-notch. He was very knowledgeable and knows his stuff. Another satisfied customer amongst many. We would like to thank you, our loyal customers. Thank you, South Africa. am.co.za. Achievement matters.